attack or something. Sweet. You were, despite your attack, it rolled a, a nat 20 on saving throw and is not pushed back. Oh, it's probably 20. just going to get me. But it, it is now bloody. Rhetoris, you're next. Now it's ready to go. Yeah, I actually rolled for initiative because I forgot to ever do that. That's they do have rendering. rendering. I have 22. Rendering. Rendering. Okay. Okay. Damn. Uh, rendering. They're rendering their attack. <laughs> they're, they're creating it. They're creating when they attack. They're yeah. creating when they attack. Uh, you'll Sold need like a, a diamond worth fifty dollars yeah. for the chromatic orb. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, everything else is. Uh, all right. I identify this for. Uh, Joey. Yeah, wait till your next turn, because that's an action. Mm. And it's not really magical, but you can identify it could it all be you want. That normal. You did say that it was about two times as large <laughs> as a normal boar. Hold so. on, this. This board doesn't have any strange rips in its skin or anything. We don't know it. that. That's called metagaming. <laughs> the, I don't have this, a book that tells me what the item is or the, the animal is, Jacob. I this don't know large boar isn't going to really transform into a dragon, is it? <laughs> no don't one used elementals. So <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looks at Ben. <laughs> maybe yeah. not dragon, but I could roll to see if maybe it's a lycan throw if you would like. Oh. Well, I was actually worried oh. it was I a know, werewolf. That would actually honestly. turn out better for you if it attacked you then. Uh, is it a werebore? Are we gonna about to get our shit fucked in? You're not sure fucked yet. In. I mean, in. you seem it's to a be, <laughs> You seem to be doing damage to it, so if you know, well, I mean, we is it damage to a make werebore Make a history too. check about lycanthropes. Anyone? <laughs> I'll do it. I have no reason to do it. Eleven. I'm curious. I don't know anything. I'm from the swamp. I might know. Well, I'm from the mountains, but I just have no pretense to actually try. I got a fifteen. Make that connection. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just. You you, just you noticed that. This boar doesn't seem to be rapidly healing from these simple attacks, so it's probably not a lichen throat. I'm gonna go into a magic missile. Okay. Oh, uh, I want this could be magically silver. We did first level spell. Yeah. It gets, does what two or three missiles? I don't remember. Three, three, missiles. three missiles. So that's uh, six plus three, so nine damage. Nine damage again. The boar is still standing. Uh, Fuck them up, though. And that puts us at the top of the list with Monday. Hey, Adam, you're, uh, well, what's his you're name still here. You I completely know. forgot about those. You know. He rolled an at 20 on his initiative. Um, oh. I'm going to bring my Warhammer down with both hands onto it. So. Yes, Jill? What's going on? Are you already... Oh. Impersonating a frog? No. It's not me, man. Is there a hole in There's it? There's a hole in it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Monday gets off the carriage. You are now officially flanking it with Skull on the other side, so you get advantage on the to hit. That's I guess this is why they were on sale. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I wasn't hitting it with that first so, so What'd you roll? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Did it leak anywhere in there? Oh, well, oh, slightly better. Yeah. Total? If anybody wants to test their fate, there's a questionable... <laughs> ginger ale over there. Careful, if I have injected eights into it. And hope you don't have any open swords. As, as you bring down your war hammer on this beast, oh my you don't hit it with the, the, the hammer part as the, the shaft of your weapon hits onto the board and just bounces off. You dumb. Take that. Um, he dumb. You got, you got the ancient injected one. You dumb. We now move on to the boar who is currently flanked on all sides. Huzzah. But we're all down there at ground level right there with it, so. So at the moment it doesn't like Fenris the most, as it shot him twice. <laughs> oh. The boar turns around and begins to charge at Fenris, creating an opportunity to attack from Mundi and Skull. Okay. As it is leaving combat, do we still have it? For this do we still have advantage because it's still flanked? Or you do. You will not have advantage. You just. An, it's an opportunity deck. Just normal. Just normal. Okay. <laughs> God fucking. What's so, the what is your to hit as the boar is leaving your combat zone? What's the total? I'm counting. <laughs> All right. Oh. Wait, I'm raging. Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right. So. Uh, Wait, I'm not. Fuck you. Right. So just my strength? Strength and proficiency to hit. Oh. I might not use this die anymore, but it's I, I got one more than last time, so. Fourteen. <clears throat> I think. I'll switch to a different metal die. 
You swing your door and slam it into the board Yay! and roll your damage. Yay! Wait, what am I? 2d4, when you use it as a weapon. Oh, the, oh, it's 2d4? Yeah. For oh. the bull rush, I'm just making it 1d4 because you also it can also push the creature when you hit it. But I never rolled door damage then. I only rolled bull rush damage. That was your damage. Okay. Oh, so... Here's, here's how I was doing I'm confused. If you're swinging it with two hands to actually hurt them, oh. 2d4. If you're doing the bull rush action, 1d4, oh. and they have to make a saving throw or be pushed back. Oh. What you're saying is... The door is 2d4 to the board. Yes. Five. Uh, you get to well, add five, your strength and your five, rage damage. Plus four, plus two. A lot more. That's what I said. The board. How, how is it like every time you fight something, it like still has one hit point left at the end? Can I headbutt it real fast? No. Oh. This was an opportunity to attack. That was your. Attack. Shoot it! And Shoot. the boar is rushing Finneras. Oh. Does a uh, still got 22 break your AC? Yes, it does. <laughs> As it slams its body into you. Yeah. How fucked up am I gonna get? You Wait, take, somebody do a missile attack from behind. You take 12 points of... Uh, will it be bludgeoning or pier- piercing from its tusk as it It'd slams into you? Either way, it fucks me up. Let's Hellish see. Rebuke! Let's see and do, because uh, of that, <gasps> you can do that. That is happening, but strength saving throw because you were just slammed from a charge. Fifteen. As the boar slams into you, you, you uh, barely hold your own, and everyone make a perception except Fenriz as he's the one doing it. Oh, fuck <laughs> me, God! <laughs> What's happening? Perception. Something new to you guys is happening. Say, uh, Dirty 20. 19. I noticed something. The ground looks neat to me. <laughs> so. uh, Monday, there was this sure bright flash of light. You didn't really know what it was, but something happened. Skull and Rhetoris, what you That's see for you is suddenly, Finri- uh, as the boar slammed into Finriz, uh, he's just barely holding his own from being just flown backwards. Suddenly his body ignites in fire and flame, and it... The flame moves from him and engulfs the boar before him. You don't even have to roll at this point because it was already practically dead. As suddenly the boar, the, as the flames rush over him, the, the skin all burns and the smell fills the air. And when the fire ends, there's this charred, charred beast lying on the ground. Oh, well, there goes the pelt. So. Um, uh, skull and you, you both all. <laughs> You both also rode, rolled very high that you noticed something off in the distance. <laughs> the second boar. Oh. <laughs> the second boar is four times larger than the regular boar. As I fall to one knee, I just say, Ow. Who wants roasted boar? <laughs> and what, what, Skull <laughs> wants roasted boar! <laughs> what, you, what you can see that Fenris and Mundy do not... Mundy because he was because blinded by the fire and Fenris because his back is turned to it. There are six... Other boars behind him. Yeah. I knew it. He's <laughs> <laughs> running packs, by the way. Now these Hence ones. why boars are so terrible. These ones yeah. definitely are not nearly as big as the one you just fought, but they are there nonetheless, and they seem to be charging in your direction. Let's fuck them up. We get a lot of boar meat. Oh man, I know which way I'm going to take this character. I'm bringing back my heavy cooking characters. Do it. Sorry. Didn't even think about the cat being there. <laughs> and what to do? Oh Spooked man! Spooked my cat. Star. Taurus would be next as you had the next highest AC since you finally rolled your AC. Yeah. Sure. Um. What are my spells? What is your candle, Beastie? Okay, so three of them will go before Finra's, and three of them will go before Skull. So I have. Well, do we want to? F- <laughs> the real question is, do we want to fight six fours? Yes. So we are married to that? Well, I'm I'm married to that. I mean, and Thal comes he's the only one who's technically been legit hit by the boar. You were hit yeah, by the boar. Yeah, it hurt real bad, so. though. <laughs> it'll right. take him. Yeah. It'll, it'll probably take him maybe a little bit to get. Yeah. That motherfucker did almost a third of my hit points. But see, he was a big one. These are small. Uh, no, it's True. Taurus. Well, how far I also don't know what they're there <laughs> One, three boars, Fenris, three boars, your turn. Oh. 
Uh, how far out of the board? Tim Tebow. Yeah, you're there taking you the <laughs> But they're 60 feet at this point. Oh my God, I should so you probably put you're them like, like <laughs> 30 <laughs> feet from Finra's. As you were like next to the carriage and he's between you and them. Alright, um, I'm going to activate Blade Song as a bonus action. Alright. I'm going to move. I'm going to take my 30 and move to him. Okay, you are now standing right next to Finris, who who's uh, just standing in this uh, uh, basking in the glow kind of pose as he's still um, staring at the charred one in front of him, hasn't taken notice of the others behind him. I'm going to move 15 more feet towards the boar and hold uh, green flame blade as an action. Alright. Until they get close to me. You're taking a risk, boy. 17 armor class, I'm hoping that's a. So you just like ran by me? Yeah, yeah. he just ran past you for some reason. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Talk to you later, bro. Yeah. yeah. I guess I could say while well, I'm going by more boars. <laughs> uh, I guess more I boars for the door. <laughs> <laughs> Still raging. Well, I mean, take more all boars those for the door heads that you could fit on. More the door. boar for the door. Bring the d4s. <laughs> oh my god, my door does d4s. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want you to put those boar heads on to it now, so it's the. The Taurus. Three of, the 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 yeah. Three of them are noticed to be closer and they are all charging you as you are now the closest target. Two of them run right like past you like towards Fenris, but one of them the slams right, up into you. The bear traps or tries. In front of it and stuff. No, he, he, so she can do he like slams up into you. Bear trap, or she His attack like meets your AC. So you were able, your, um, your blade song uh, giving you this magical oh, no. enhanced it's ability the, to your AC as it clashes against your armor. And you yeah, take no damage of, at the moment. Because he said they were the ones with the jacket. Right. This door is going to be the most ridiculous so This is true. You can is, either choose to hit the one that slammed into you or one of the other two that ran past you. I'm going to be bad. Sorry. I guess I'll uh, slide in one of those around past me. That way I can actually use the green flame blood. All right. Go ahead and make your ticket. That's a 12. You swing your scimitar towards one of them. Uh, slicing them across the side of their body. Roll your damage. Five. Alright, that's uh, eight damage. So eight damage to the yeah, one you swung at, and then four fire to another target? To the, next, the one next to it, yeah. Alright, uh, the one in front of you, or the other one running past you? Are the, are the one is the one in front of me within five feet of me that time? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll do that one then. Alright. So, you did eight points of damage to the one running past you. It looks pretty bloodied. That was quite a gash you, you gave it, but the one that just slammed into you still looking fine. Fenris, it is your turn. Uh, Your torch just ran past you. Uh, so, you can suddenly hear this rumbling sound coming from behind you. I turn around. There are six boars charging in your direction. Two of them are almost up on you. One of them slammed into Retorus. Um. But the, there was two that went past him, right? Two ran past Those are the ones that are almost on you. All right. Are they within five feet of each other? Uh, there's a five-foot gap in between them, so no. Because the uh, Retorus would have taken up that spot, and they were just going in a straight line. Um, I'll shoot the injured one. And you still have your... Um, since you, that spell affects a uh, target opponent... You can move it to a new one, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, uh... And yeah, one of them has this giant gash across its side. It's looking very blurry. <clears throat> I'll move it to that one for now. Alright, go ahead and roll your to hit. 16. Your arrow flies, and just for spite, you shoot it into the, the wound. Can you spell fetch? Is it E? F-E-T-C-H. It's trying to correct me to an I. That's why I was Fight. confused. I was really confused. I was Plus like, the two not. from Monday, even though you probably won't need it at this point. It'd be nine. The arrow flies into its wound, and the boar just falls dead as it slides across the, down, the ground in front of your feet. And after that, we move on to the other three boars. Retorus is the closest target to him. Why'd you look at me when you said that? Because he's so. behind you. Oh, okay. 
So, uh, Rotorus, one more runs past you, but two, the other two slam into you. This okay. time they are both dealing damage as they beat your AC. Then you key it. So did you actually control. take any damage from when you got hit, or did that negate out the damage? From the first one you got hit. Yeah, I've only so got hit got by the major amount. So that major amount, you, you still actually took that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I took all of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know, I didn't know what <laughs> that was, because I... Now, Hellish Rebuke is just a reaction where if I get hit, I can basically do a reaction and set someone on fire for some damage. I don't remember. Because, because contrary to every other edition where From two these playable, two other boars slamming into like you, edition, you're so. going to be taking eight points of bludgeoning damage, and you'll also be Man, making a strength saving throw at disadvantage because two of them hit you. <clears throat> once a day, but, or once per rest. Once per rest. Okay. We sure the place are on the way. I don't give you advantage on something. I can't what? Because I think it's a long rest. If it gives you advantage on your strength saving throw, then it's just a normal check. Have advantage on dexterity? No, nope, it's strength. To hold you around. So this is like going to be a straight roll. Because I get plus zero strength. No, it's at disadvantage. At disadvantage. Because you were hit by two of them at the same time. All right, well, it's still a zero. So they have rolled twice. I don't know. Maybe I'll roll should be once a day. And <laughs> so then I can only do it once a day. Oh, Fuck. That's natural one. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess I'm fucking oh, flying. Yeah. With the two boars that slammed into you, you go flying backwards. Uh, Finriz, how about a dexterity saving throw from you as something's flying towards you? Pretty dexterous. Something quite large, actually. Six foot six. So. And you did take 18 points of damage from the two attacks. 18? I thought yeah. you Oh, Jesus. No, 18. Two of them hit you. Uh, I rolled an 18 for my dex save. Rotorus is flying towards you. You can either get out of the way or try and catch him. He's a big boy <laughs> compared to me. Six foot six and two hundred one pounds. I'm gonna get out of the way. As you fly past Pinneras and slam onto the ground, you take another three points of bludgeoning damage from being thrown so far. Hold on. I'm a two. That ring's already coming in handy. Yeah, you, you ran right up into the middle of combat. Well, I was expecting more of them to go past me. Somewhere on here. Three yeah. of them did. Yeah, I was. I was figuring like. Two would stay at me, and then the other bunch would split a bunch of everyone else. Skull, it is your turn. I figured he's going to get fucking clobbered if there I There are five do living boars. Mm. I'm going to hit him with my door. Yeah, three of them are on top of Rotorus. Two of them are, are on top of Finris. They're on top of me. I go into the Oh, so right. He got spell. fallen backwards. I'm going to so. hit the ones on my buddy okay. Finris here. All right. There are two of them there. You uh, move up and make your attack on one. It is. Fifteen. Um. You said 15 on the base roll. You, you definitely hit it. Okay. I think I was at 22 actually. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I think. Wait, no. Is that that's not how you math? It isn't. I would oh, be able what? to help you with that. I'm not good at math. Math. 21. You, you definitely slam. You swing your door at one of them. Go ahead and roll your 2d4 plus your strength. Oh, max plus. damage! Woo. Mm -hmm. So four, so four, four, eight, four, two, and two. Fourteen. So fourteen. Yeah. Four, 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 <laughs> four, four, two, to the four, four, you, you four, see these, two. <laughs> uh, Fenris is standing there. The Taurus had flown like five feet beyond him. There's two boars in front of Fenris. You swing your door at one of them, and it just goes flying off in the distance. <laughs> and so I got thrown twenty feet. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. So I so I rolled the damage and cut it in half because you weren't falling. You were just flung backwards. Okay. So yeah, there are now four living boars, and we go up to Thola. Oh, she's so <laughs> And as she runs up next to Fenris and Skull, and she just <laughs> obliterates the other one with her great sword, and it falls on the ground dead. I kind of so wanted to just vaporize with how, what you roll and just... It's great sword. <laughs> it just, it's... In fact, there's such a clean cut, it, it, the head just falls off with the swing. Nice. Mount that shit. She stabs it, the head comes off. <laughs> so that takes us to the top of the order with Mundi. You are still by the carriage, and everybody else is up. Next to three, four dead boars at this point. There are three more. It had been so fast. Yeah. I was too busy looking at the dirt that I never noticed. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh my god. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Holy shit, more boards. That board got hit by that, that board. Those more boards. <sighs> uh, 
take a shot at one of the right. living ones then. Don't let me down new dice like the other dice. It would be 40 feet away with the range of your crossbow. I'm fighting with someone over of whose course cat's I wouldn't have that written down. So, it's a uh, light crossbow. Alright. For a light crossbow, 80, okay. Then yeah, you can definitely hit it. I thought it was a short range. Hey, it's better than... No. <laughs> uh, 16, so... Your, the the uh, bolt flies towards one of the three healthy ones still in the field. Roll your damage as it punctures one of them. <clears throat> Sorry. Disgusting. It's so great though. Like, look at it. It's so smooth. Yeah, like a little, like tiny little hair. Oh yeah. That's it. It's great. Look at this. Look at that. Two. Two. Nice. Two. So nice. Yeah. You gotta add your dexterity, don't you? Oh. Four. <laughs> as the the boar in the center it's takes a uh, four it's points of piercing damage it's as it flies bowls. into its shoulder, <laughs> we now move on to a Taurus. You are next. <laughs> you were just flown backwards. Yeah. Not looking too well at the moment. No. All right. What's the largest collection of board right now? There are three. Thirty-five feet, like, but twenty feet in front of you. Yeah. Three. How close are they together? They're all right next to each other. One, the one in the center just got hit by a bolt. All right. Um. The trick from the step real quick. Oh, fella. So far, like. On your travels, when I'm like, no, oh, there's this animal off in this, and you're like, ah, fuck it. This boar. Hey, time to die, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. Because uh, boar means tasty. I'm going so. to go to the three. Is anyone going to go behind them? You're going to run up next to them? No, you head. would be, you're I still in the, if you go up next to them, you're still in the lead. Okay. Because they were charging towards the group. Just go super cooking. Alright, I'm going to go up to the bunch and cast Thunderwave. Okay. So they must make constitution saving throw. Right, so, uh, Rhetoris, very bloody at the moment, but he seems determined to be in melee combat with these things as he runs up to all three of them. Uh, what was their save? Actually, I don't have to get right next to him, guys. It's a 15 foot cube originating from me. Okay, then you don't. I could probably stay like You move five feet up next to Fenris, then. Yeah, so I can. Yeah, he I can does not run up into melee combat. I can get close. I don't have to get right up to him, though. And what was their save that they had to make? Constitution. Okay. Your AC is still 12? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and what is your damage? Uh, I like fighting with strangers over whose cat's better. It is uh, 10. Three. And that's half on a successful I don't know your cat, but I know it's right. right. back in the Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> conversation's going. So, there, the one on the left side. Failed its saving throw and it gets flown backwards and falls to the ground. Mm. The other two stand their ground is, and each take five points of damage. This is how this conversation is going. The one in the well, center is bloody at the moment, but they're still okay. all there. So yeah, and, and, uh, and rogues, all right, the two of them are still there. Yeah. Uh, my I, cat's best cat. I have to use my regular movement first, right? <laughs> you can move before <laughs> and after as long as you don't exceed your total movement. Alright, so I have five more feet, so I'm gonna move. Five feet back. You moved five feet forward, so if you wanted to move oh. 20 some feet away, you can. Yeah, I'll probably do that because I'm All going right. near death. He's not going to get trampled this turn. Fenris, it is your turn. One boar, uh, Taurus cast a spell, one went flying off there, two standing there. One is very bloody, the other is not so much. I'm going to shoot at the healthy one. Right. And. Shoot right in the eye. I'm gonna cast Hail of Thorns on it if I hit, uh, which I'm totally gonna fucking hit because I rolled a 16. So 23 to hit. Is Hail of Thorns a concentration? That's a good question. Hail of Thorns is a concentration, so your other spell ends. That's fine. But yes, you do hit your first target, the healthy looking one. Go okay. ahead and roll your damage. So he's going to take 7 damage, and then him and everyone around him, everyone within 5 feet of him, has to make a dexterity saving throw. They have to beat an 11, 
where they take one d10 or half as much on a successful save. Okay. Roll your damage. Eight. Nice. So, you, you hit the healthy one, and suddenly it just burst to pieces as it critically failed on its saving throw, oh. and the one next to it dies from the shrapnel. The boar shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> At this moment, combat seems to have ended, and they're all dead. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> We have one that should have a good hide because it got killed by the thunder wave. And well, one that has a slash in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have multiples that have slashes and puncture marks and stuff. Everything except the one that was charred and the one that just exploded. Yeah. That's five regular boar hides. Gonna, all right, I'm gonna get to work on skinning these. And, bad and the boys. big one's already cooked, so yeah. you could just turn that into preserves. With the rations. Mmm. Boar jelly. I feel it. I, uh, put my... Skull is in the middle of raging still, so he's mm-hmm. gonna start ripping out hearts and eating them. So Skull is damaging the pelts as he's ripping out the hearts. God damn it. Unless someone wants to stop him. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I, well, I, was gonna, I was actually gonna put my weapon away and just walk over to you and just calmly, like, lean over and, like, very gently touch you. You touched him! Very gently. You smoked him! Are you sure? I don't know, did you approach him? Rips out your heart, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know, is your name Black Widow? Is it? Is it? I like that. Very, I know what you're going for. I know like very, very carefully touching, he's like, hey, I need to play down for a minute. Bring, bring some meat in once you're done. 14. 14? Oh, yeah, no, it's plenty high enough. Yeah, he starts chilling out, kind of backing off, coming down oh. from his rage high. Good, I don't have to use I imagine, I imagine he knows how badly I got hit. No. It's, it's that no. brotherly no, connection that's uh, soothing your soul. You don't know what's going on. No. <laughs> I feel like we should take a short rest here. <laughs> Mainly me. Also, you guys slammed by the big boy. Yeah, but I mean, I also want to, like, take my time to skin these and, like, we should eat and stuff. Mm-hmm. You're all gonna take yes money. Oh, if we're gonna rest, then we get healed up. Never mind. Then. You can get full heal, not necessarily, but yes, you would gain hit points back. Then I'll just save this spell then. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Well, so it's be like full group. During the short rest, everyone has because essentially yeah, everybody gets healed. They're up to three hit dice to roll. You don't have to roll them all at once. You can roll them one at a time. And if Kadok was in a familiar mood, he's a little pissed at still being tied up, he could use his song of rest, but he's not We don't care to. about Hey, go fuck himself. I have prayer healing. We don't even need him anymore. I'm so. just gonna die. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. think you got hit. I know. Hmm. I'm just gonna, like, so I'm just gonna go inside of the uh, wagon and just lay down. Alright. Because uh, I never died again. I didn't. You ran oh. straight into melee combat, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, he's out protecting his ass. Nobody else is moving to him. He would have gotten, whoa, whoa. He would've gotten fucking clobbered. I, I, I do appreciate you all. You were just the first one to react, <laughs> is all. Anyway, yeah, I, just, yeah. I go in and I'll lay down and use killing dice. Yeah. You need a hard time. Need a... What happened to your dice tower? It's, I gotta make sure I could've used that here. Yeah. How silly of me. How silly. Did you bring it? Or? Yeah, yeah it's, it's over there. It's over here. Where's? Here? The thing's in the, uh, yeah. So I'm at 11. Did you use all of them? Yeah, I used all three. Not, not very good rolls. You know, I get my constitution out of it. You should get it per die, so yeah. Okay. In that case, then I would heal. Uh, that's right. Seven, four, 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 eight plus seven. Fifteen. So I have 17 now. You use all your hit dice for the day. So if you stay out of combat, you'll be fine. I used to immediately two of mine, and I got up to full. That pterodactyl looks neat. You did see one earlier. (laughs) That rock looks really interesting. (laughs) So (laughs) you you all take time. Skull, calm down so all the hides are intact. Cool. Yeah, and you turn... All the meat into rations. Did you did you bring Wait, meat in for me? Unless you're not one. All the meat into rations. 
Are you? Because like I said, I'm going to go full on cooking, bro, with this yeah. one. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Well, you if you ration it and stuff, you're putting it on your... your a survival to thing. preserve the meat for a later date. So I, I asked uh, Skull to bring in some of the cooked boar. So we have five full down. pelts, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you spell denial? D-N-I-A-L. D-E-N-I-A-L. Yep. I-A-N? Yep. Oh, I did spell it wrong. It wasn't correcting right. me. All right. We could say that the, the five... Normal sized boars, you were able to preserve the meat for all of them for later mm-hmm. use, whether you want to use them for cooking or for rations. But they, they are intact and will not spoil anytime soon. The one that was already cooked, that one That's too late. needs That's to it, be yeah. converted yeah. into rations. And since that makes sense, would you? Okay. We'll say you can make you can have yourselves your meal for the day and 16 days rations from all its meat. Hot diggity damn. That's our board turkey. Yeah, and that's just from the giant one. Yep. Jesus, that'd, be, that'd, be like, that'd be like $500 in actual jerky. The rest, uh, Monday was able to preserve. And that's four just... days worth of jerky for each of us. And then, uh, I know, like, I know where we can sell the pelts unless people are wanting the smaller pelts for something. I, I just want the tusks. Are these just like black boars or do they have any kind of interesting pattern on them? I'm gonna roll 50 50 to see if it's just gonna be the black one. Alright, you want to, don't forget the teeth, like the normal teeth too. So. Or you yeah, want those teeth? Those no. aren't, poor teeth aren't exactly. We'll the see, it, it's a yeah. black board. Well, I was gonna say, like, if, are you gonna take all the tusks or just the large one? or All the tusks, yeah. Okay. Well, then the bones for the most part aren't really worth trying to, like, full on head's not really worth uh, taking back to the. Hunting guild and stuff yeah. to try and get them mounted or anything. So, well, they well, I would I would probably save the big one. The big one would probably be worth something. The small ones wouldn't be worth jack though, because well, boars are menaces. They yeah. they aren't without the tusks though. It's going to be worth a lot less. No, the big one I was going to leave. Oh, you're going to leave oh, the big one. one? Okay, oh. simply because that it is worth decent amount, especially with the tusks. <laughs> okay, so we can take the big one's head then for. Mounting. It's the for, rest of the body, it's, it's like too damaged yeah, to it's, get. Yeah, it's like, fur is charred, but the head is mostly yeah. intact. Well, that's the, but like it can, there can be touch, like the rest of the body, like there's no point in like, trying to get it stuffed or anything. I'd, I'd say, well, that was just my opinion. You, if you gave them like the boar, the big boar head and then one other boar pelt, they'd probably be able to fix any chars. Well, yeah, that's what, I mean, unless pe- somebody was wanting some of the pelts and stuff. I was going to suggest just selling all the pelts that we could okay. to the hunting guild in the first place. Uh, Obviously, just use bend on it. I don't think it would work. No, I think that's different than... Like, if it was already... I think it would be something like if it was already mounted or something, you might be able to use mend, but because it's... Living tissue. <laughs> living tissue right now, I don't think mend would actually work on it. All right. We take all that shit. All right. We spent an hour resting, preparing the meat, getting the skins, doing all the things, and unless Monday wants to rotate out, you head off in the uh, formation you were before. I'm willing to stay up front if everybody else is well. No, I will stay up front since I'm the only one out of the group that hasn't taken any damage. The rest of you can use this time to rest and kind of get back up and stuff, so it makes more sense for me to be out right now. All right. The journey continues onward. Uh, Monday, uh, uh, perception isn't really necessary. The, the grassland isn't very active at the moment over the next few hours. And you, you now see the, the town of Iapo off in the distance. Unless there's anything anyone wants to do during these few hours, while whether inside or outside the carriage. A few more hours have passed. Um, so how much health did you manage to get back? Oh, I'm good. Okay. You're still damaged. You didn't take that much damage. Okay, I'm going to save this. I took three. Uh, so I'm only missing like yeah. six health now. Yeah, I'll save that spell. I was going to say I can cast the 
for a healing, and it would have gotten you guys inside the carriage too. But since we're back, you're pretty good. We can you're not there yet. The you're, you're like halfway. Oh, okay. We're in. I'm just. We're I'm just giving you so. options to do things on your no. journey since you're not really <laughs> moving around. You're kind of just sitting in one spot for a while. I'm gonna nap. I'm going to. Okay. I'm gonna start thinking of all the possible things I can make with that for me. Here we go. I'm going hardcore with this. So that's kind of. Actually, I, didn't, I can't. I couldn't do that right now. I was gonna use fine familiar, but I had to get ten gold worth of uh, I need charcoal. Another cat. You don't need another cat. You want another cat. No, I need cat. You'll live without another cat. No, another That's cat. what you think. Sure. If it wasn't for this cat right now, she'd drop dead right now. It's true. <laughs> it's true. So, Mundy. Be careful, puss, man. Uh, a new perception. Wait, me? Yeah, you're, you're still up front. It's not a one, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Eleven. Shut up, Jill. No. <laughs> Eleven, you said? Eleven. And it wasn't hard to miss. Uh, there were some vultures flying in the air, and at this time you were now coming up to the tower and uh, still on track towards town. Oh, good. You also can see uh, outside the tower, there seem to be some of the twig whites running around doing their own thing. One of them seems to be holding a bow and arrow and is shooting at the targets Fenris set up. Oh, nice. Needle. Um, Neo Supremo. And you, you notice a particularly bad shot that just kind of sails over the target and off into the distance. And then explodes. Yeah. We, should, we should stop for a second. Laugh. <laughs> no, I, I will remind you, you, you guys did decide to keep Thala out of the loop so she doesn't know that you're staying there. Yeah. So, if you decide oh, to stop... Oh, with us too right now. Mm-hmm. k Doc's also mind. there. Never yeah. mind. But you want to what? Fuck yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> want him to know where we're at at all, especially if it's like a nice place. Well, he's not here. He's in the he didn't even do shit during that fight. That motherfucker. You had him tied up. <laughs> He's wiggled out of the ropes before. So <laughs> he didn't even try to help. Did he get fucked up when <laughs> the boar hit the yeah. cart? Whoa. Is he knocked out again? <laughs> and that's how we explain why he wasn't able yeah, to. Yeah, he, he uh, along with Skull, he flew to the other side of the carriage and took some damage. For the sake of the narrative, he knocked out. Excellent. This dude's been knocked out like eight times. I feel kind of bad for him. Well, that's because he's not here, so. So he's probably got permanent brain damage now? He's gonna come back and his character's gonna be beat to high heaven and stuff, and he's gonna think that I did it. I was after <laughs> his teeth. So. K Doc looks in the mirror and is <laughs> badly bruised all over his body. <laughs> it looks like your face was almost smashed in by something. Who knows? So I'm just sitting over there cleaning my Warhammer, looking at him, smiling. Who knows? <laughs> well, here. Me. <laughs> I got people who would vouch for me, maybe possibly. Obviously that uh, giant board should have just been a hell big. Fucking thing's horrifying looking. Oh yeah. Well anything that has hell in its name tends to be horrifying looking. Yeah. Although Tens. Well nothing's about that. Well actually that'd be about right, because the hell board was like or hell was like two thousand pounds. Jesus. You can ride one. You, Good luck training him. Yeah. I mean, actually, that's like the preferred mount for most fancy, like, orcs and stuff. Or boars and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, well, they're just giant boars. Hellbig is, like, tall. Oh, no. Hellbig's, like, like significant. But I'm just saying, in general, yeah. like, boars tend to actually be, like, preferred mounts for, like, orcs and stuff. Since Unless it's World they can just ram. Tools. Yeah. But that's stupid. I don't right. like World of Warcraft, so. I go for it. Well, I guess they're boards, technically. It doesn't Orchard. matter. It's yeah. still wow, and wow can go side of dick. <laughs> they're about to come I'm out sorry. Of the wow can go off somewhere on its own. We gotta make sure that this can be monetized one day when you're 50. <laughs> so, but yeah, you're currently passing the tower unless you want to do anything. Love the tower. You don't even have a spell to do that. <laughs> Future plans. And after a few hours, you well, after an hour, you end up passing the floating rocks, and then another hour later, you are now at the entrance gate to Iapo. 
Woo. Made it. So, you're back in town. What are your plans? You've got your trophies, you've got K-Doc and the bowl, you've got anything you want to do at this point. Um, Turn K-Doc in. Yep, that's... that's First and foremost. Yeah, that is the most important thing that we can possibly do is turn him in and sail him down the river. So. <laughs> All right. I was just working on a list of uh, potential money for animal trophies. So. You've got time. But yes, you're headed towards the guard. Are all of you headed towards the guard at the same time? Oh yeah, I want to see this happen. So, I mean, okay. I'm hateful. Well, um, I officially want a Sphinx cat. What do they look like? <laughs> upon oh, you, <laughs> upon you getting back in well. town, Thola would like to ask, um, <laughs> Where are you? Uh, Sorry. Uh, Thor, like I said, where do you want your stuff dropped off at? Unless you really want to go get rid of Kadok first. No, Kadok needs, needs to go. Kadok needs to go for it because we... she has the basin that we need to turn in with Kadok. So. Right. Holding to an anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought someone might have been at the door with how you were reacting. Well, somebody was at the door. No. No. Okay, well, um, we, can we keep our stuff in Thola's carriage for now? Because, I mean, otherwise we would need to make a quick trip to the blacksmith first. Probably to, like, drop our stuff off with her. But if Thola will let us store it in her carriage while we take this thieving son of a bitch <laughs> to the rightful authorities... Trash. All right, Trash. so Gorgeous. as you're working at the arrangement that she's going to hold onto the stuff now, she she uh, stops at the stable you saw before, and um, she actually comes up to you, Finrez, because you made an offer earlier, uh, suggesting that if she ever needed help from you guys to contact you, and she, she comes up to you, uh, kind of pulls you aside for a private conversation, and uh, she pulls out this, like, two-ended scroll, and said... Uh, Pulls it apart. Okay. So now there are two individuals, and she said, uh, as she's handing you one, uh, uh, well, before she hands it, she's like, You said that if I ever needed help, I could ask you guys for it, correct? Definitely. Uh, I, f- I feel as um, the same should be returned <laughs> that uh, if you ever need me, just uh, send the word. And she is now handing you one of these halves of the scroll and says, this is a, uh, a paired scroll. Whatever is written on one appears on the other. If you ever need me for anything, just send a message. Feel free to do the same. They're so cute! I want a little black one! But, um, I also... Oh, the... k Doc's not in, like, hearing distance. No, he? he's not. She, she pulled you aside from the rest of the group to have this conversation. I also I wanted to tell you that... The tower that we passed on the way here is actually where we've been staying. So if there's anything that you don't feel comfortable writing down, if it becomes that serious, you'll know where to find us. She uh, nods her head. um, Since you guys are determined to turn him in right now, if you want... I I need to be leaving soon. You need to leave? But if if you want, I can drop off your stuff at the tower on my way out. Um, you told her about the tower? I did. You just did. Fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. I do what I want. Yeah, we yeah. noticed. I don't need your permission. Everybody lives there, not just you. Look, she's helped us out a whole fucking she's bunch. She's a stranger who has her own agenda. Stranger danger. Yeah, which doesn't seem to interfere with our own. We don't know that? I said doesn't seem. If you're unsure, you could always roll an insight. <laughs> Since Skull wants to pressure you into this. I'm Skull, you, you, I'm see, you see these two whole, <laughs> having their private conversation. Not terrible. Insight. 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 <laughs> 14. <laughs> Skull, you are not detecting any malicious intent from just... Um, peering into their conversation, you're hearing words being sputtered about how she'll need to leave soon, 
Uh, just contact no me. lies were actually told, but that does not mean she is not. So I'm going to ask her to actually drop off our stuff at the blacksmith and tell the blacksmith that the, we'll be there after we visit the authorities to clear up some I gotta so. ask, uh, are you going off this based on Skull's role, or are you just changing your mind all of a sudden? No, I don't mind her knowing where the tower is or anything. I still want her to know where the tower is. I would just rather her drop off stuff off at the blacksmith rather than the tower. Okay. Because I feel like we're going to take it there anyway. Might as well just save ourselves a trip. Alright. A haul of this shit. Then uh, she, she nods her head, she agrees, and uh, um, at this point, are you... Wanting the, uh, she'll she'll give you the bowl. Okay. Unless you were trying to, pre- yeah. She just gives you since you're dealing with the matter, she gives you the bowl uh, that she had cool. hidden in her carriage, and assures you that all of the things that mo- you mostly had are so at the very least anything that she had that you collected from the cave, she'll be dropping off at the blacksmith. All right. And you gave her in, uh, detailed instructions on how to find the right one. Yeah, I'll give her the name of the Anastriana and everything. What? This is where it's going to end up. No, you're not allowed to know about the blacksmith either. I don't trust her! After this, I want to...